Grade 8 math, number 3.3b, graphing proportional relationships. A rate is a comparison of two quantities that have different units, like miles and hours, or gallons and minutes. And a unit rate is a type of rate that has a second quantity, like the hours or minutes, that is only one unit, like one hour, miles for each one hour, miles per hour. We can find the slope of a line by finding the constant rate of change of points on a line. We can use a table and a graph to find a unit rate and a slope that describes a real-world proportional relationship. And the constant of proportionality, constant means it's not going to change, and proportionality is the proportion ratio, so it's a ratio that doesn't change. Well, for a proportional relationship between two values, it's the same as the slope. So if we discussed before, the slope formula is m is the slope of the line, it's the change in y values over the change in x values for two ordered pairs, okay? The slope of the line is a ratio, it's a fraction of the change between two y values, the rise, for a segment of the graph to the corresponding change between two x values, the run. It's a change between two ordered pairs, x and y. So every three minutes, 12 gallons of water fills a bathtub. Draw a graph for the situation, and then find the unit rate of this proportional relationship. So the first thing we're going to do is make a function table. So we know it has 3 minutes and 12 gallons, because that's what it told us. So we make a function table that shows that proportional relationship. The time in minutes is x, and the gallons is y. So if 3 is 12, 6 will be 24, 9 will be 36, and 12 will be 48. Now we're going to draw a graph of that function. Here's the gallons of water. Here's our y values. Here's our x. And we know it does 3 minutes and 12 gallons. So now if we look at this graph, every place that these green lines intersect with the red line to make a nice little star, that's a point that we can use to find the slope. We can see it does it here. Here's our original one. That's the 3 and the 12 that we know about. But it was the only point we were given. We can also see that the, the green lines intersect with the red line here and here. So I'm going to use this intersection as point 1 and this intersection as point 2. This falls at 1 and 4. So now I've got my ordered pairs of my x and y coordinates, and I can find the slope. For point 1, I've got the ordered pairs of x1, y4, and for point 2, I've got the ordered pairs of 3 and 12 for my x and y. Now all I have to do is subtract y1 from y2 and, y and x1 from x2. See? y2 is the point 2's y. That's a 12. And we're going to take away the 4. That's point 1's y. See? And 12 take away 4 is 8. 12 take away 4 is 8. Now we have to do the x. So we have x2 minus x1. Well, here's x2 and here's x1. So we've got 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1. So now we've got 8 over 2. So that means our slope is 8 over 2. And we simplify it. 8 divided by 2 is 4. We know the slope is 4. The unit rate is 4. The tub fills 4 gallons per minute. See? Now we can look at this, and each of these moves by 2. See that? It's going 2, 4, 6, 8. So if we count the rise, it's going 2, 4, 6, 8. So we have an 8 for our rise. And the run, the horizontal, is going in single units. So it's going 1, 2. So we have a 2. You can see our rise over our run, our 8 over our 2. And that's what we got. See? It's the rise over the run. And it doesn't matter if I did it on this side of the line. I could have done it on this side of the line, and I still would have had 2 for the run and 4 for the rise. See? And 8 for the rise. See? It would have been the same. Sorry. It still would have been an 8 and a 2 for the rise and the run. The run is the horizontal, and the rise is the vertical. See?
If we look at the origin, the 0, 0 spot on this graph, and the first point where x and y intercept each other, 1, 4, we can see it's the first spot from 0, 0 to where the green and the red lines actually crossed each other was this 1, 4. See? We can, we can use that. We can see the unit rate of change for one minute for four gallons just by looking at that. Just by comparing from the origin to this spot, we can see it's one unit of minutes and four gallons of water. We can see that right there, see? And remember, each place that those green lines intersected with each other at a location like here, they're intersecting where the red line also intersected exactly over that point. That's a point for x and y that can be used to find the slope. The green ones crossed here and the red one crossed there, so we can use that as a point for the slope. The green ones crossed here and the red one crossed it, that's a point for the slope. And they crossed here and the red line crossed there. See? We can't use here because the green and red line, the two green lines are not crossing here. They're crossing each other here. They're making that plus sign, see? And then the red line is going through it, see? That's where we want to use a point to find our slope. And I can see three of them right here, all right? I'm going to continue on talking about slopes. We're going to talk about using slopes to compare unit rates in the next video. And I hope this is helpful. Oh, I know, it's a lot of talk about slopes, but... There's a reason we're doing all of these videos. The more we discuss it, the more you're going to understand. And instead of understanding 50% of it, you might understand 100% of it, okay? If you watch each video, your knowledge is just going to increase that much more, all right? Don't forget I'm on Twitter, and I can send you a copy of this whiteboard as a study guide, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.